little, it is a bit scary. It's the unknown. And, you know, when you see other people doing something that you want to do, you just assume that they have more skills and um, they've got some something better that allows them to do it. But in reality, it's not the case. Um, and we'll actually, once you actually end up doing it and you take those first steps, you'll be really glad you did. It's not as big of a leap as you think when you can break it down into little parts. The last kind of push before I got hens was I made a friend when I was living in Chester. I knew her through work initially, and she had hens in her backyard garden. And I remember going over to her house, and I was like, that's so cool, you've got hens. And her husband had built this lovely uh, chicken uh, coop and run. And that was kind of like the last push for me that's like, yeah, this is possible, I can do this. So before we got hens, we you know read up on the books, uh, read up online. There was um, a woman not far away from us in Ellsworth Port who was selling uh, chicken, so we bought from her. But my earliest memory of knowing that I wanted to have backyard chickens was, it was like in my early 20s. I was living in Ohio at the time, and we had uh, moved into a new rental property. And around the corner from us was a family, and they had grown like corn in their front yard and they had free-ranging chickens and they had this um, stall on the road uh, like an otter box system where you could buy the eggs and the corn you put money in the box and so that's where we get our eggs and that's actually my first memory as well of knowingly eating free like range eggs so that might be really different from so maybe someone who was living in the uk i think you guys are you know maybe more aware than maybe i did growing up in like Ohio about free-range eggs, free-ranging chickens. I had a few barriers. I didn't know, I didn't have the knowledge about how to take care of hens. I didn't have the experience. And I was also renting at the time in Chester. And so in our landlord agreement, it was really clear, like no hens. <laughs> well, not no hens specifically, but you know, no pets, um, along with lots of other things. Uh, so the first thing I did was contact my landlord. I prepared all this stuff and I was like, look, I'll be, you know, a really responsible chicken keeper if you let me keep them in the garden. And actually, he was really cool about it and he gave us permission uh, to do that. As long as we turned the garden the back of the way it was when we moved out. And it was grass lawn, so that was really easy to do. When we moved out, we just cleared everything, um, re sowed the grass seed, and it came up just fine. Uh, and then for, you know, knowledge, we got books from the library, um, and actually my partner's granddad, um, he had kept chickens a long time ago and had some old books, so we had those from him that we read. So if you're thinking about keeping chickens, but haven't made those last steps yet of actually doing it, break down what are all your different barriers, and then one by one, just try to see what you can do to overcome those, whether it's to get knowledge or go meet up with someone for the experience or ask for the permission if you're renting like I was. So if you do have chickens currently, what were your barriers before you got started? Because everyone's got different circumstances. How did you overcome those? And how did you end up getting where you are now? Uh, I'd love to know. Message me in the comments or send me a note.